Hold on. <clears throat> I thought you were going to take it away. I was really out of breath. I was hoping you'd kind of spearhead this one. Sounds like you're talking just fine. Well, I, I kind of go few and far between in between my big breaths because I just wouldn't want to be huffing into the mic, you know. So. But you're talking right now, so you could have just done the intro. No, I get you. I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying I'm, I'm kind of out of breath right now, and I never know when one, one might You don't hit sound me. out of breath is what I'm saying. What do you mean what might hit you? A breath? Just yeah, breathe then. It's a big one. See? Was that a big one? Yeah, well, I'm pretty well conditioned, so they're not like super overbearing at all. So you could have done the intro is what I'm hearing. I don't know how you're hearing that. I'm telling you what's in my heart and in my mouth and lungs. That you, you're you saying that you were out of breath, and yep. you were telling me that without sounding out of breath, and that yeah. you a um, big breath might come. Are you chewing gum right now? Yes. Oh, God, what the fuck? Just put that on the package. I fucking hate that so much. <laughs> For our audio listeners, because just like stretched a piece of gum out of his mouth <laughs> the second I noticed you were chewing gum. I was just taking it out, guys. It's professional. <laughs> you could have just taken it out as one solid piece. You'd have to stretch it all out right, with your all teeth. Right, all right, that's enough out of you. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. It's a Monday. I hope it's um. Uh, what day would it be? Like the sixteenth. We're we're getting close to Christmas. What do you guys want for Christmas? Um, you, you talking to them or? Yeah, we, they're not answering. You take this one. I we'll do an interactive part of the podcast. It'll be like Dora the Explorer. Ready? Yeah. Ready? What do you guys want for Christmas? Wow. What a that sounds a bike. No, you so, don't say what they said. What did they didn't say? Bike. <laughs> I was really going to continue the bit. <laughs> it's like somebody just sitting there. They're like, I think uh, just some whiskey. And I'm like, a bike? <laughs> no, no, bro. <laughs> That's we're, not what I said, Eddie. Worst podcast ever. Holy shit. <laughs> I really thought it was interactive. Well, I'm gearing up for Christmas. I'm going to be back in the Northwoods. I'm going to be sitting by the fireplace. It's going to be a stove. When are you uh, going back? I don't know when I'm going to go back. Probably on the 20th. Okay. Maybe. So then I'm only missing out on, well, I'm missing out on two weeks then of, of good old boys time. That's true. It would be exactly two weeks. Excuse me. I'll have to cultivate my own vo- boys in that time, but that's a-okay. What's your address? It's, oh. I almost can't. got you. You almost I got almost me. Got you. Sorry, guys. I tried for you. Oh. A bike? <laughs> no, I live at bike. <laughs> yeah, like for the audience, just like, hey, guys, what's your address? A bike, <laughs> a ten answer. speed. <laughs> wow! Do you have? Uh, I know this is probably a regional commercial thing, but do you guys have Eric the Bike Man stores no. by you? <laughs> no. <laughs> we've got we've got Eric's bikes uh, and and his commercials every time. Like they've been going since I was a kid, and it's literally somebody just goes Eric the Bike Man. Oh God! Isn't I don't that like. <laughs> fucking horrible? Wait. So is the store called Eric's Bikes or Eric the Bike Man? I don't know. All I know is Eric the Bike Man definitely is the one pulling the strings. <laughs> Eric the Bike Man. Oh, I also want to say self-plug. I am wearing Yikes merch, and you should pick that up. Get it. I'm it's, not wearing mine. Here's the, it's the embroidered Yikes logo, and I like the merch a lot. This is actually my favorite article of it. Uh, aside from, I also like the purple sweatshirt that I have. It is pretty sharp looking. It looks nice and trendy. But Kinda, if you don't want it, that's fine. Then you just get my God's Country merch. I'm not wearing it, but you feel it in your heart. Or a bike. bike. <laughs> go <laughs> buy, guys. Go buy a bike to support us. <laughs> yeah, please, just any bike. <laughs> use, <laughs> use coupon code Gus and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> go to Walmart to the bike st- section and rip it out of a kid's hand. <laughs> You're doing the parent a favor. Yeah. Here, let's see if you can hear a little Eric the Bike Man commercial. Here's a 30 second video. Let me- <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was it. <laughs> he sounds so angry i know i don't even know if that's eric's voice is uh how many views did that have that eric the bike man thing yeah gotta have me re it in bro sorry you could click the back button maybe eric the bike man eric's bike mania sale it's from uh 12 years ago it has sixteen thousand views <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah it's not a nationwide chain i don't know dude it's spreading okay well let's play the ad let's give him some ad time all right let's just listen to eric the bike man all right this is now the fourth time i've searched for this because <laughs> I, I keep closing out of it why would you close the page all right let's Let's hope the sale's still running. This video is from 12 years ago. Okay, well, maybe it's a, a lifetime sale. Let's hope so. Let's listen. It's true. I do. <laughs> 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 
it's true. I do. Wait, that was probably Eric. Right. Yeah, that's Eric. Does he have any more lines? Bike Mania. I just saw socks. Whoa. <laughs> bike Mania sounds awesome. Wait, was that a car horn at the end? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, Bike Mania sounds pretty good. I might go. I might go pick up some bikes, multiple bikes. <laughs> just a few. <laughs> Um, can I have a few liters of bikes, <laughs> yeah. please? What if you came and it's like, like, yeah, there's a deal on bikes. I got a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You, never, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one breaks down. Maybe I want to ride two bikes at once. Whatever you need to do, guy. Okay. Like Elmo riding that bike by himself. We have, we have something historic to do right now. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thought I would be a perfect time to drink something when I was <laughs> trying to talk. So last week, we got... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gus found out. That his original claim to fame, his original IMDb credit as a lovely child in the children's book, uh, was it Pass the Cheese, Please, uh, a cow, Mozzarella's Journey from Cow to Pizza. Ex- extra cheese. <laughs> extra cheese, please. Extra cheese, please. A Mozzarella's Journey from Cow to Pizza. Gus had said that he was in this book. And um, somebody sent it to us, and Gus found out live on the podcast that he is not in the book. <laughs> this is bullshit. And he called Sven and Thor, his brothers, and they informed him that not only was he not in the book, but they were in a different book, and he was not invited to be in that book. Same author, yes. by the way. So Gus has not spoken to his mom since that recording, and he tried to get a hold of her before. He's going to try and call her now to get some answers because she had told Gus that he was in Extra cheese, please. Mozzarella's journey from cow to pizza. If she doesn't pick up, I'm going to call her and my sister, who's always by her side. If she doesn't pick up, she's clearly avoiding me. About okay. This yeah, she knows. She knows. All right. You got to tell her that you're on, or she's on the podcast, of course. I feel like I'm on Jerry Springer or something. <laughs> <clears throat> what could happen? Hello? Hey, Mom, this is Gus. You're on the podcast. Yeah. Because I have to confront you about something from my childhood. Tell her I said hello, though. You know, I'm not in the mood for this. What are you doing? <laughs> Mom, when I was a kid... Oh, Eddie says hello, by the way. When, when Hi, I was, Eddie. Hi. When I was a kid, you told me that I was in the Chris Peterson book, <laughs> Extra Cheese, Please, and someone just no, mailed... No, I didn't. You did! <laughs> you did, Mom! No, I didn't! You that s- was the era of... Don't say their last names! We will censor that. Okay, we'll just censor their names. But you said I was in that book. You said I was, like, there was a photo shoot on a class trip, and I was in that book. No, I never said that. That is the most crazy, faulty, nonsense memory I've ever heard. You're ruining my life right now, Mom. What are you doing? No. I, I honestly don't know where you pulled that out. That is the most ridiculous, blatant lie I've ever heard. What are you talking about? You told me that. No. Ben and Thor are in one of Chris Peterson's books. Yeah, I know. I know I'm not. I, clearly, I found that out the hard way. Hey, quit your quit belly aching. You have a massive melon head. You think that people are going to pick you to be in a book? What? Why would you say Did that? Did you hang up on me? No. <laughs> what? Why? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you said I have a melon head. Yeah. I'm sorry. Gosh, you can't even turn it off when you're not holding the camera, can you? <laughs> anyway, are you done? Are we done? <laughs> well, apparently. Thanks for ruining my life. Oh, please. Let's not be overly dramatic. <laughs> okay. I love you, I guess. Yeah. No, let's... Don't, don't soften it. <laughs> I love you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Dude. What the hell was that? Your mom turned into a supervillain. What Wait, happened? What did she do? She was like a Pixar villain that was like, not only do I am I not in love with you, but you have a melon head and no one will ever love you. What just happened? Why? Are you okay, buddy? No. <laughs> feel, that's the touch I never had when I was a fucking kid. Dude, wait. Okay. Yes. I got to come out in support of you. Okay. Nobody just makes up that they're in extra cheese, please. Why? What would I have to gain from that? Where would you even get that in your memory or in your head? Where somebody had to have told you you were in that book. Yeah. Because there's no way you would have gone, oh, 
Sven and Thor, or Sven and Thor were in this Chris Peterson book. Let me look up Chris Peterson mm-hmm. books. Oh, extra cheese, please. Oh, I'm in that book. <laughs> hey, please, nobody call me on that. That doesn't make any sense. I'm furious right now. <laughs> I love, though, that she called it a blatant lie. <laughs> yeah, like, it was, like I just did it for clout. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you really think that you were an extra cheese? Please get the fuck out of here. Dude, I guarantee you, too, that I'm going to have a message when I finish the podcast. I'm going to look at my phone, and she's going to be like, don't ever put me on blast like that again. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Bob? She hasn't messaged me yet. Okay. I don't even know if I, if I want to go home again ever. <laughs> All right. You're like, yeah, maybe I'll go home on the 23rd instead of the 20th. (laughs) Just in and out, same day. (laughs) All right. Anyway, so I guess the thesis here is screw my mom, and why don't we take some freaking preguntas here? (laughs) I'm sorry. I I feel just just dragged through the coals here, mom. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, uh, follow us on Twitter. Don't follow my mom. She's not on there. Uh, Follow us at Eddie Burback and at Gus Buckets, and we will answer your questions and solve your disagreements here. <clears throat> all right. DJ Yoder asks, all right, help my wife and I settle this argument. Oh, we got a marital problem. We're going to split some people up today. Get a divorce. Boom. Sorry. Sorry. No, say the argument. <laughs> okay. Okay. When we first started dating, I told her, my wife, I plan on naming my firstborn child Colby Jack or... <laughs> like the cheese? <laughs> yes. Or Colby Jacqueline if it's a girl. Oh, my God. Yes, after the cheese. It's my favorite type of cheese and objectively a good sounding name. This has to be a bit. There's no fucking way. <laughs> now that we are married, she doesn't want our first child to be named after cheese. She says it's a dumb name and claims our child will get bullied in school for being named after cheese. I think our kid will be fine, especially if he or she inherits my sense of humor. If it really oh. bothers them, our child could go by CJ or just not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. It's nice to meet you. What does CJ stand for, by the way? Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Colby Jack. <laughs> uh, he could just go by CJ or just not tell people their middle name. Is naming our firstborn after my favorite cheese a good or bad idea? I hope to God this is a bit. Listen, if you're making an excuse where, one, if you have to say that you're not yet born, but soon to be infant child, that you hope they have the same sense of humor as you with their name. And also, you can't be like, oh, he can just, he or she could just go by CJ then. Yeah. Yeah. Just name him CJ then, or like Chris Jack, and then you can think it's Colby Jack. That's got to be a bit. I can't. I pray it's a bit, dude. That's my answer is if this isn't a bit, it has to be a bit. That's how wrong you are in this situation. <laughs> Legally, please make this a bit. It's already kids are going to take the dumbest shit and like and make fun of your name. You can't just give them a, a meatball like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? dude. You fucking go to school. You, imagine you go to school. They're doing the substitutes doing the roll call, and somebody's like, "Is Parmesan here?" <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna beat the shit out of that kid. My mom told me that she grew up with a girl whose last name was Outhouse. Really? And it's just like, There's, how do you how do you survive school? You ever? I always wonder the source of like some of those uh, last names. If it was really as basic as you think, you know, yeah. like um, like did Smith names come from actual like blacksmiths? I don't know. Maybe. Or I forgot. There was one that I heard recently that sounded so much like a profession, and I forgot what it was. Yeah. But it, I remember hearing like hearing it, and it was just like, oh, was that just like the guy in town did that job, and they just like named him that last name? I don't know. What are the sources of last names? How the fuck do those start? I don't know. I know a lot of Scandinavian names are like Peterson, Anderson, Johnson, because it literally was like a long time ago, if you were in, in Scandinavian countries, it would be like, oh, my name is Gus, son of John. Right. Like, okay. John is my father. So then people just shorten it to like Johnson. Like, oh, that's Johnson. You know, that's Anderson. That's Peterson. Okay. And then so at one point they were like, let's just stick with my dad's name forever yeah <laughs> so like, it's like stop. son don't carry on my name yeah, we're, just, we're going with grandpa one of the guys in the family tree just went you know what <laughs> let's just fucking ruminate on this colby one jackson colby jackson <laughs> um dude we had uh the, here's the thing too even if you name your kid something average there could just be some some mystery bonus round shit that comes and fucks them up yeah and for us that was when we went into middle school and when we went into middle school everybody got their custom usernames for the first time so on any school computer you could go in and you had this 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 username and it was right, a yeah. code for your username yeah i remember for us it was just it was our last name and then a bunch of numbers 
I'm pretty. Or no, it was just numbers. But yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. So ours was S, and then the year you were graduating. So for me, for me, it was S fourteen, and then it was the first letter of your first name, and the last, or then the first four letters of your last name. So I was S fourteen G John. But some people got fucked over. And the thing is, whenever you signed out of a computer, it said last person on here. Boom. It was no secret. Right. There was a girl in my uh, grade below me, and her name was, I'll change her first name because it still holds up. Her name was Sabrina Hartley. Okay. So her thing was S15 Shart. Ooh. And everyone was just calling her Shart. And I was just yeah. like, dude, fuck no. And then there was another kid, changed his first name, still works. Travis Watson. S15 twats. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. That's How do you fucking do that? <laughs> yeah, that's oh god. <laughs> Brutal. You don't e- yeah, you don't even name it and then they're like your middle kids middle school is like, "You know what? It doesn't even fucking matter." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at bell 5801 goes Hi, my boyfriend claims he hasn't been sick in six years, but he's had a cold recently. He claims that that's not sickness, but I believe he's so very wrong. Your your boyfriend's a stubborn little bitch ass. That's someone he's only interested in protecting his streak at the expense of logic and reason. I've met these people, and they also... It doesn't even... Because I have a non-throw-up streak, too. That's different than non-sick streak. Yep. But I've met people that say they don't get sick. And the funny thing is, they always do. They just never acknowledge it until they can't deny it anymore. It's until, like, they get the flu. Yeah. They're pretty uh, unbearable about it, too. Like, oh, I never got sick. I haven't been sick in years. Yeah. And it's just like, all right, well... Yeah, thanks. Great. <laughs> I'm sure you had a cough and was like, oh, it's probably... Uh, my throat's just all scratchy. It's yeah. like, yeah, there's mucus coming out of your throat, but like, <laughs> Well, technically it doesn't count because I've been yelling a lot lately, so it's yeah. just a side effect of me doing that. Yeah, so no, it's just filling in the mucus to it's uh, so it's all scratched up. <clears throat> anyway, at Have a Banana Pro says, So I have this disagreement, all caps, with this guy in my class. He says that if trash is biodegradable, then it's okay to throw it on the ground. In his eyes, it's not littering. He listens to you guys, so tell Jay he's a fucking dumbass. Okay. I think he's getting that from a Louie bit. Really? <laughs> Do you, well, Louie had a, a really funny bit of the idea that, like, like all somewhere like New York, the city is <clears throat> just littering itself. Like, mm-hmm. if you throw trash on concrete, it's not really littering. Yeah. And that's funny, but... Uh, just, was it Jay? Yeah. You're stupid. <laughs> we need to dispose of this shit in a proper way or else everything goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. Also, everything is technically biodegradable. It's yeah. just how long does it take? Even if it takes only a couple of weeks, it's like you're throwing shit on the ground that will be there for a couple weeks. Animals could choke on it and it's stuff. It's ecosystems you're fucking harming. It's That's not... You don't just go, oh, well, the earth is one thing, so I'm going to dump 50 Coke, Coke bottles on the ground, and while they crack, then squirrels can walk over and cut their little paws. Ouch. They have paws or hands. I think they have little hands, actually. Because they do have little hands, but what do you call them? Do you call those hands? Do squirrels have hands? Oh, that's a good question. Can you look it up? Do squirrels have <laughs> hands? squirrels have hands? I feel like I should preface I feel like those this. are hands. I feel like if I ask this, I need to say, bro, do squirrels, yeah. <laughs> bro, do squirrels have hands? All right, squirrel. I wonder if I take bro out, if it'll give me an answer. Do squirrels have hands? Squirrels look a lot like other rodents, such as chipmunks, rats, and mice, but they are also quite different. Squirrels have larger hind legs and smaller forepaws, ending in tiny fingers, much like human hands. Each so paw, they're called four paws, though. Yeah. Each, Not four as in the number, uh, but four. F- F-O-R-E. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. It just sounded the way I pronounced it. That was gonna be- Let me see. Each paw usually has four or five toes, and most of them have a small, poorly developed <sighs> thumbs. Those I don't sound like hands. I don't like non... Um, ape-like creatures b- being described as having fingers. I really don't... <laughs> something about that I really don't like. Are there any like creatures that aren't ape-like that just... It makes sense for this to say that they have hands. To have, have full, like, like hands. Like, ra- raccoons have hands. Raccoons do have hands, and I'm comfortable saying they have fingers as well. But how close to a squirrel is a raccoon? That's pretty, pretty close. close. That's pretty close. I'm I mean, they it. did say they had fingers. I'm saying it. Squirrels have hands. Squirrels do have hands, I think Bam. so. Bam. I'm excited that we came to this revelation. <laughs> <laughs> See how we can do it? We can come to an agreement. What's wrong with all these people? <laughs> yeah, guys. Get on our fucking level here. At Jason S. Smith says, Hey, boys. If I'm driving in the car and my girlfriend asks for my phone, then she leaves the phone in the car. After I give her my phone, who's responsible for bringing the phone indoors? I think it's her, as she never gave it back, so I assume that she still has it. 
Is she setting it just like in that little, you know, what do you call the area right under the radio that's just like where you put shit? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, like above the cigarette lighter, below the console. It's, well, it's like, it's, yeah, it's right in front of um, uh, the stick boy. And then it's just like, so then it's just that little pocket. Just the console? It's not even, well, you don't open it for mine. It's just like open. It's just an open area that you kind of toss shit in. I don't know. Just it's the, the area. The car hole. The car hole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's just like out in the main part of the car, it's still your phone. Take your phone back. Yeah. I'm also, it's like anytime you leave the car, regardless of if it's to go inside to your house or go into a store, why would you not stop and be like, where is my phone That's right now? That's the thing is people don't keep track of their shit. Wallet, phone, uh, keys check every time you leave your car. And I will say it would be fair if you guys are standing up and you've already exited the car yeah. and she is getting out of the car. You have the right to ask her to grab your phone for you because she did take it from you. Yeah. But your phone is your responsibility, my guy. Yeah. It's it's a personal item. If you're walking inside like, wait, where's my phone? You already fucked up, guy. Yep. You got to do you it. You can't leave the car without it. All right. I'm holy 613 says... Hey, when using a Q-tip to extract earwax, do you wet the tip first with your mouth for better cleaning power? How about after a shower? Who sucks a Q-tip and jams in their ear? So, okay, you're obviously getting a Q-tip from the bathroom. Yeah. Which I would argue is the most accessible place for water ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's two things, there's two spots for water, maybe even three because the tub as well. Yep. All in one spot. You actually, you have the sink, you have the toilet bowl, which I would argue a clean toilet bowl is better than your own spit, yeah, to be honest. And you have the toilet tank, the too. The toilet tank is the best option, honestly, because yes. it's the most untouched. Yes. Then you have the shower, the tub, um, like the, the actual, regular sink. Yeah, the re and the regular sink. So those were, those were all your options. And you spit on a Q-tip and put it in your ear. You're freaky, man. Yeah, dude. That's, that's some kinky shit. <laughs> that's BDSM, technically. Um, also, I don't ever use Q-tips. I don't fuck with Q-tips because everyone said they gave ear damage, so I don't do that anymore. You ever do the hydrogen peroxide stuff? What? Dude, Are you saying to me? Lifesaver. Absolute life changer. I learned it a few years ago. So some, so what you can do, get a couple of like uh, little pieces of damp tissue, you know, some, some Kleenex and stuff on the side just, just to prep for it. You get a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and you lay down on your side and you pour a few drops into your ear. And you just okay. lay down there for 10 minutes, and you can hear it breaking up the earwax and seeping deeper into your ear. Okay. And then when it's done, you just tip over, you, like, clomp it out, and then you just dry your ear out. That's kind of nasty, but it also – I just part of it is, like, that's good and sounds very cl clean, but mm -hmm. also the idea of having something, like, bubble up in my ear is very gross. It me. is. It very. It feels. It like makes a, me uncomfortable. It feels like a little bug is in your ear, I honestly. don't like that at all. <laughs> but a clean bug. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, at Annie the Richest says, so this is more of an argument than a question. Okay. I'm from M.E., which is Maine, right? Um, I think so. Is it Maine? I think so. Because, yeah, M.A. is Massachusetts. M.E. Maine. Click, and yes, it is. Okay. God, we're learning so much today. Dude. Oh, my God. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> what? what how, what's, how do you abbreviate Maine? M.E. No. Wait, what's, we, okay. Hey, guys, how do you abbreviate Maine? A bike? No, no, it's not. I don't get. I don't understand this stuff. How does Dora do it? I don't know. Or or Diego? Do you think she just has like really slow CPU and she's just trying to carry yeah. that? <laughs> she's like CPU. trying to answer her in her head and then she just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So this is more of an argument than a question. I'm from Maine. My boyfriend's from Vermont. In Maine and the rest of the country, I think soft serve ice cream is just called soft serve. In Vermont, they call it creamy with two E's. What? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one who thinks it's weird. That is weird. I, again, it's like local places have their own words for things. Yeah. But like, here's here's my problem is that's kind of weird. But what's the argument? Is he saying? Wait, was it was a, it was a boyfriend that was from yeah. there? Yeah. Is he saying that she shouldn't say soft serve? Or is um, it just that's weird? She, he says he just calls it creamy, and she I thinks mean, it's weird. It's where he's from. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yes, we got it, weird shit. It do be weird though. It do be weird though. It like do. if somebody, if I did, was dating somebody from here, and they were like, "What do you just call that?" 
hop. It's like it's what we that's what we do in the Midwest. I don't know what that's I don't true. Know what I'm to say to you. That's true. And the thing is, I got again. I'm always trying to be a proponent of you can't just step on people and tell them like what's right or wrong when it's a personal preference stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Also, I will say. Are you that, wait, say were you gonna say something else? Wait. Well, I was gonna ask. I was gonna say normally we make fun of things if the if it doesn't make any sense to call it the thing that it is. Yeah. But creamy, <laughs> that's pretty much soft serve. It like, is creamy. <laughs> it's like they nailed it, man. Yeah. Anyway, this is, I don't know if this is just a Wisconsin thing, but it, I certainly hear it in southern Wisconsin. You know the whole water fountain thing? You've mentioned the bubbler thing before. I have n- never heard that near me. People call, half the people in Wisconsin call it, you know, either a drinking fountain or a water fountain. Some people in southern Wisconsin call it a bubbler. And it pisses me off. And I guess it's the regional shit. Well, but what's bubbling? Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing. The bo- the water is gurgling at best. Yeah. It does. It do be gurgling. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down to the local gurgler. <laughs> it's, uh, it sounded too just like the actual brand of it. I want Costco t- to uh, uh, advertise with. It do be Kirkland, though. <laughs> <laughs> it do be Kirkland. Have you, uh, do you know what the Lions Club is? No. It's like kind of a, uh, a charitable organization, kind of like the Rotary or the American Legion, I believe. I don't do research. Uh, but the Lions Club, uh, I believe that they're all over the U.S. And uh, they will typically go to like baseball like parks and stuff and just outdoor places and for a while i was seeing their custom water fountains everywhere and their water fountains are these giant lions that you stick your head into their open mouth what the fuck and the water spout is in there and you have to drink out of this that's kind of awesome actually let me fucking find lion drinking fountain i bet i could drinking fountain Oh, also, just a side note, because I got another one. Did you see my post about um, the, like, bootleg merch that people are trying to sell? Oh, yeah. Fuck that yeah. noise. So there are shitty websites that are taking the designs that uh, Leighton Stollard, who I love, um, made for my merch, and they're advertising when you search Eddie Burback merch, and you see it as a result. If you don't see Crowdmade as the my merch company, then it's not my merch. Um, I think my old Teespring stuff is still up, so that works, but the rest of them is, are not. So somebody linked to one of the sites. was like, hey, you can report the design. So I did, and it was an official website. And it was like I was putting in a serious claim of copyright for my stuff, right? Yeah. And it asked me to fill out a phone number. I am now getting spam texts. What? Right after doing it. I shouldn't have given my phone number out, but I was trying to get this taken down because legally, you know, they've fucking impe- impeded on my copyright. Yeah. And then I am fucking am receiving spam text now from it. Dude, that's fucking horrible. Yep. Also, fuck people that do that. It's so blatantly stupid. I saw one on our webs on our uh, subreddit again. Good memes on the subreddit. Thanks, boys. Uh, I saw one on our subreddit right after we did the first round of boy support boy shit, you know? Yeah. And uh, somebody on our own subreddit, it's like, I assume if you're there, what else are you doing if you don't like our shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And it was right after the run ended and somebody was posting like, hey, like, I, I missed it. Did anyone know where I can get one? And someone just chimed right in and was like, oh, you can pick one up here. And it was obviously a, a spam. Like, I was like, fuck off. What's wrong with you? Please. Oh, okay. Maybe they didn't know. If you didn't know, fuck off. But also, <laughs> <laughs> but also I don't fully blame you because you're not educated about it. But also, fucking check first because again, it's still screwing us over. Yeah. Um. Let me actually look right now. I want to search Gus and Eddie merch and see if spam Ooh, comes up. That's, that's a good question. Oh, by the way, here's that. Oh, right. That sorry. Water fountain. With what the, the fuck? There. I was expecting it to look way less cartoony than that. Even no, it's yeah, dopey. drink out of its tongue. Yeah, that's gross. Right out of the old saliva gland. All right. So then I will search. Um. Why am I free? Oh yeah, Gus and Eddie merch. Hey guys, today's episode is sponsored by Candid. So thank you, here's a little word from, uh, from our beautiful friends over at Candid, okay? Listen, it's that time of year again. You don't need to know that, all right? It's time to share smiles and good times with friends and family and of course, exchange gifts. How about you give yourself a gift, okay? God, the gift of self-confidence. How do you get it? By having straighter, brighter teeth with help from, you guessed it, friggin' Candid, okay? Candid's aligners can help straighten your teeth faster and cheaper than traditional wire braces, and treatment just takes six months on average and costs 65% less. The friggin' savings, okay? An experienced orthodontist who is licensed in your state creates a custom treatment plan. Then they show you a 3D preview so that you can see how your teeth will look after you are done. See this? I didn't use Candid. That looks like a train wreck. Listen. Candid's aligners are comfortable, removable, and completely invisible. There's no hassle of going to an orthodontist's office. Candid ships your aligners directly to you. 
Plus, in the season of giving, Candid donates $25 with each aligner purchase to Smile Train, who brings safe, 100% free cleft lip and palate treatment to children around the globe, okay? So give yourselves the gift of Candid. Go to candidco.com slash Gus and Eddie. That's, uh, and you can use the coupon code, coupon code Gus and Eddie, and then you get $75 off. That's some friggin' moolah right there, okay? That's candidco.com slash Gus and Eddie. Code Gus and Eddie for $75 off. CandidCO.com slash Gus and Eddie. Code Gus and Eddie. Thank you, Candid, for sponsoring. Now back to the friggin' boys. Gus and Eddie merger came up in the suggestion. Okay, CrowdMade comes up right away. Okay. There's no ad. So there's specific advertising. Even here. Yeah, I scrolled down. And it's my fucking bootleg Yike merch on here. Yikes merch on here. Damn, so dude. So, like, it's. Uh, dude. Yeah, it's more of mine. There's a yep, yeah, bootleg boy support boys hoodie on going tea. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, on going tea. And the main one is a uh, Kang styled store. I'd request that you guys report them, but I don't want you guys to get spam text. So, so get a burner phone, get old Motorola razor, and burn that shit and, and report it. The thing is, too, is this is how shitty people are. Is Crowdmate is on top of the shit, and they get those taken down all the time. But people are just so like shitty that actual fans of us are taking the design and going, I can make a couple of bucks probably if I just rip this off and put it up. I know you're listening. If you do that, statistically, one of you is listening. What a waste of your own time, and I hate you. I hope you die. That's I it. hope you get strangled by your own shirt hoodie string. That's it. On accident. <laughs> <laughs> just to be fair to you, though. No, here's the thing, too, is if you buy one, the thing is you might be being like, ah, Gazzanetti, maybe I'll get it for five bucks cheaper or something. Like, ah, that's okay. I still get it. It is going to be the worst quality ever. That's my main thing, too, is it's not about losing out on the money. It's like people might buy it thinking that it's our merch, have bad shipping experiences. They might get scammed and think it's us. They might get shitty clothes and think it's us. Yeah. And it's like... Then we have that as our part of our reputation because they're advertising on Google. It's literally Google ads pushing it as the first thing. Yeah, it's like you will lose your money. You're much more susceptible to have your own information compromised and your fucking credit card shit. Who knows what these websites are? Don't get them. You're going to just get chipped out of some shit. Yeah, if you go with us, you might get a bad print, but then we'll replace it right after. <laughs> For so. free. That's Any, again, sorry, and, if you oh, missed yeah. the last week, if you got a print of the Gus Netti, uh holiday sweater without the white, you are getting a new sweatshirt. It's, and I saw on the subreddit, somebody said like, oh, do we have to, I saw someone was like, do we have to contact one of them? Yeah. And the other person was like, yeah, I think so. No, you don't. You should already have an email from CrowdMade. And you should already have one on the way. Yeah. So that's you don't have to contact us the, about it. The TLDR is if you got a fucked up shirt, what do you have to do, Eddie? I was drinking it. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> wait, wait for the next one. A replacement is coming to you, and you're. But thank you for buying them. Thank yes. you. Uh, at Bacon Beams says, <laughs> <laughs> "What do you do when you have to pee while well with a group of friends? Say at a restaurant. Do you say something? I gotta pee, or just slip quietly I away? I straight up say I gotta pee every time. Me too. You just who cares? Yeah." I've been with like one or two people that will like act uh, kind of joke that that's like too much info. And it's like, are we just li like peeing is not gross. If I said I got to take a shit, that would be weird. Yeah. But like, hey, I'm going to go pee real quick. That's fine. Yeah. Honestly, it's weird to just be like, hey, I'll be right back. Dude, yeah. What? What are you doing? Or yeah, I just, I'm going to hit the bathroom real quick is another one that I say. Yeah. It's always real quick though. I always add that on the end there because it's like, hey, I'm not going to take a shit. Yeah. You got to just let them down easy. And you know, if boys. you are, you just say... I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and All right. you, slow, you hold your ass and you run to the bathroom. <laughs> just little toots leaking out of the <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, all right. At Wow, it's Jake Zero said, should you feel bad when your boss asks you to come in on your day off and you say no? I've gotten crap Absolutely from not. others who always do it, but I disagree. Absolutely not. No. It, you should be taking advantage of every opportunity that you're allowed to take from your company because companies, for the most part, don't care about you. They don't care about the you. People that are like never taking a sick day. Why? You have them. Yeah. Fake sick. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like they're bragging like, hey. I just fucked myself over. Yeah. I could have had a lot of time off. <laughs> Nobody cares if you get sick. Like, it's not a big problem. Yeah. If you could get a cold once a year where you take like three days off and just hang out. I fake sick in high school constantly mm -hmm. to the point where my mom was just like, what are you doing? And it was, I still couldn't help myself. We cut a bit. Okay. Okay. So we cut something. We cut something. Okay. We revealed some personal information about somebody. It's whatever. What? 
ever. Chill. Take your sick days, you fucking idiot. Chill. I don't remember if we said this already too, but remember, I think you tweeted about it or I did or something too, but like, I hate when you like just throw up a tweet and then for for whatever reason, you delete the tweet and mm -hmm. people are like, ooh, why'd you delete that tweet? We like, saw it. We were here. <laughs> Got you. think we wouldn't see it? <laughs> it's like, what? What? If, ah, yep. you're so stupid. Also, my Twitter pet peeve. What? Is, um, is, and it happens every time. Tweet qu questions at Gus Natty and some fucking Rodney Dangerfield, <laughs> Don Rickles comedian, classic comedian goes, no. <laughs> no! Whoa. Brother. Oh, fuck, man. No. <laughs> you going to say no to me right now? <laughs> you got him. That's it. Oh, I just got tanked. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Take your sick days, dumbass. Before another question, you want to do some mail. Guys, look at the description. Send me mail. Send, send us mail, Gus. Sorry. Send it to Gus and Eddie because if you just put one of our names on it, we'll probably open it fully off camera and then realize, oops, this is something that should have been for the podcast. Too yep. bad. You freaked up. I opened it. Oh, also, you remember that idea that we talked about at the cabin that you were going to do? And I don't want to mention it fully on the podcast for a video. And no. then a certain thing happened that ruined that idea. I actually don't. I don't have any idea what had to do about. with an egg. An egg. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think the time is past. Well, don't don't spoil it, but I think the time is past where you can do that again. Okay. I had this idea first. Are you going to make a video or are you going to announce it in here? No, nah, I'll do it. Uh, I'll make a video. About okay. It. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, you'll figure it out later. But when you see it, I had this idea first, and then Eddie and I worked on it together, and we built it like a child shared amongst us. And then the fucking world record egg came along. Fuck you, world record egg. I had that idea first. Give me a knife. Okay. I lost okay. mine. What? Isn't yours? Wait, I just saw yours on the table. I like... did, too. That's what's driving me nuts. Did Dude, I it was it? here. Oh, it was in my crotch. Okay, I was like, yeah, it was there 10 seconds ago. You... Sorry, I just kind of crotch knife in it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got the packages. You can send it to us, Gus and Eddie, or any variation of our name. I will say this, though. Um, this is another poop knife for you. <laughs> is it really another? <laughs> guys, we're getting a few poop knives now. I will say uh, there's some wonderful uh, middle-aged women that work at the post office. Our post office is run entirely by middle-aged women, and uh, I, every time I go down there, I don't have the heart to tell them you guys write naughty names on some of the packages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, what do we got here? It's a poop knife. It is a poop knife. They're all the same. They're all blue. Why are they all blue? A little poo blue. They're all the same color. They put it in a color that would be least like the uh, actual poop so you never get it mixed up. Is there metal under here? I don't. You wait, really? why did you suspect there's metal under there? It's used. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Oh, okay. Now that I hold it, I get why you said that. Because it looked like just plastic to me. I was like, yeah. it, it feels like metal encased in rubber. Dude, I'm a dumbass. I picked up the package. I was like, what the fuck is... Oh, it's my gum. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weighty poop knife, I'll say. A weighty poop knife. Yeah, dude. You could really... Do you think... Okay. That's a poop knife hitting my hand. There you go. That's some ASSMR right there. Hoo-hoo. Okay. Do you think, remember our, our theoretical question from a few months ago that if you got a thousand respawns in a completely bare room with a full grown bear, if you could kill it on any of those thousand lives? Yeah. Do you think if you had a poop knife, you could still kill it? I think I have a better chance if I like, here's my strategy. I put the poop knife in my hand and I offer the bear at my hand to bite first and then he chokes on the poop knife. <laughs> Do you, so you just try to ram the poop knife down his throat, you think? Yeah, I think so. Do you think that... Or her. Or her. It's a she-bear. Look at this shit right here. Boom. Thank you, Dylan Cozart. That's very cool of you. Oh, Dylan Cozart's the guy that gave us the t-shirts at the show. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, his yeah. art is on point. Look he at that He put that in a Twitter video. I was looking forward to him sending this, us this shit. Dylan Cozart. Good to see you again, guy. Uh, this thing is cool as shit. What's this? St Francisco's art. God damn, you're a really good artist, Dylan. Thank you for that. Look at this. Oh! Oh, baby! Oh! Oh! Gus and Eddie Lamp! Gus and Eddie Lamp. Fuck yeah, dude. That's fucking cool. We should actually just have that out in the main room. Yeah, let's put that in the main room. We have, we, it's, we're starting to get more and more narcissistic in the main room because there's more and more decorations that are just about us. Yeah, which you'll be able to see when you inevitably come to our house just before that pepper spray hitting your little virgin eyes. <laughs> You're going to go, wow, those guys are really conceited. Ow, 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 pepper spray. Um... So I think we got a box full of like 
200 fortune cookies. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. Dude, open them up. Holy shit! That is just fortune cookies. Damn, dude. All right, you want to? We only get one fortune out of all of this. So one fortune. Wisely. I'm gonna choose blind one for you and one for me. Blah. Okay. Okay. This is perfect because I just had some dim sum for lunch and I didn't have one of these bad boys afterwards. Oh fuck! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the instant replay on that? <laughs> that was fucking lame. Put it in the box. Is okay, this my good. fortune now or yours? <laughs> well, it seemed to choose you. Yeah, here, here. here. <laughs> All right, that's your fortune. Here's mine. I definitely don't want to eat it now. Though. <laughs> I never okay. do want to eat them. All right, should I read mine? Yes, you read yours. Whoa! What is it? You're about to find out because you're about to do it. A close friend reveals a hidden talent. Oh my Go god. Go ahead, buddy. You ready? Check this out. Fuck you, I audio like listeners. The, Check I like this the noise out. your mouth made before. Ah, what the fuck? Look, I can do it to music too. Uh, 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 I, okay, I didn't like that. I didn't like my fortune. I didn't like my fortune. For audio listeners, Gus is like twisting his tongue in his mouth in a really weird way. It was really cool. I have I have a lot of hidden talents. I thought you were about to gleek on the table. I was like, dude, please don't. <laughs> do you know? I know people that can gleek on yeah, command. Yeah, I'd hate it because uh, in middle school, I had a friend that would just do it to people. All right, this one got formatted really terribly. This Here's my fortune. Adapt to circumstances in order to make progress. What? That's a terrible one. Can I get another fortune? Yeah, okay. That we'll sucks. get more fortunes because you did make my fortune come true. I did. I did. So I get a mulligan Two more fortune. blind ones. Two more blind ones. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to toss it at you. You ready? Yep, I'm open. Ow! Oh! My eyes were closed, so it was a good toss. Boom. What do we got? These taste so bad. That's the thing with fortune cookies. You take one bite and you go, oh, right, this is why I don't eat these. Yeah. All right, my new one says... How about another fortune? Secondfortune.com. Okay, other side. <laughs> it just tells you to get a different cookie. Here we go, baby. Be prepared for a sudden, needed, and happy change in plans. Ah, that one's a little scary, kind of. Eddie and I are going to have sex for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, baby. Did you eat yours, too? Yeah, that's why I don't eat those. Yeah, All that's right, terrible. One. How about another fortune? <laughs> um, what do you say? A smile increases your face value. Whoa! Hit him with that cheese. Hit him with that Colby Jack right there. Is this uh. doing it? That's doing it. Is this doing it? My face value's gone up? Yeah, that's it. Your stock price is rising right now, yeah, dude. Yeah, wait until I have the the uh, face market burst. Bam. All right, I got another package right here. Do it up. Check this out. Eddie hasn't seen it, but I've seen it. You know why? Because it's addressed to just me. So I opened it and went, oops, that's for the podcast. Oops. But Eddie hasn't seen this yet, and it's fucking cool. This is from uh, Soda oh. Hughes. Sua, Soda Hughes, all right? See if there's anything succinct in there. It says, for the podcast. It's got the cool podcast uh, symbols on it. It do be cool. Hey, boys, I love the podcast and both your channels. Discover you while looking for Jakey interviews. Ooh. Oh, it's that's It's always cool. weird, yeah, to think how people found us. Oh, yeah. Um, By the way, thank you guys. Eddie told me about this. There's people that have just stumbled upon us on, like, Spotify and iTunes and shit. It's so weird to think that people just find the podcast. It's yeah. so bizarre. And if you are just a podcast listener, consider checking out our channels. My new video is uh, one of the best I've uploaded, so maybe go check it out. Mine's not, but you should look at it, too. <laughs> I really love the conversations on the podcast, and I love the style you have for, your interview, or for interviews. You guys definitely add a personal touch to the whole podcast experience. Thank you. Um, you'll find some of my drawings in the package. I'm sorry if uh, Tony's is an ideal. I'm not even 100% sure that uh, fucking is Tony. Oh, I've... that's who this is. Is it not Tony? It look, Dude, it looks just like Eric. Oh, wait. Oh, Because, so they... again, I've seen all these. Okay, okay. Okay, first of all. Let's 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 go through them. Look at these. This guy's Be fucking. Be sure to show the camera more than you Talented ass. Again, this is at Soda Hughes. This is some good shit. Whoa. Boom. Working man Gus. That looks fucking great. Boom, Hot Boy Eddie. Oh, shit. Boom, the OG Hot Boy Jakey. Oh, fuck, dude. That's that's, a, that's from his uh, pink Instagram pics, right? Yeah, that's a banging photo of yeah, Jakey. Yeah, I love that. All right, then we got the other boys. There's a little Sven. Sven. We got a little Sabrina, Sabrina action. Sabrina. And then this is, I, was, I straight up was like, how the fuck did they know who Eric was? Doesn't that look just that like That is Eric? Eric. Yeah, that is Eric. I guess he went back to an older video and then like... But that's definitely Eric. All right. Well, hell yeah. That's what that you want to give that to Eric? I yeah. Bet. I guess so. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Attaboy, Eric. There you go. Um, if you guys want to know what Tony looks like, it's on my Instagram. Oh, yeah. Um, but that's it for... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What does that say? What does that say? Um, 
Oh, so if you guys ever want to uh, reach me or need help, don't hu- hesitate. Soda Hughes, and then parentheses, Tony D. Donato. Whoa. That's a cool name. That sounds like a frozen pizza. But it's a cool nickname and a co- cool name. That is cool. Oh, uh, somebody made a really funny meme on the subreddit where it was like, I think, I forgot, it was the the looking under the tongue for, uh, in Spongebob. Did you yeah. see that one? Uh-uh. Where it was like... I'm pretty sure it was like Jack's pizza was the tongue, and under the tongue, the pickles were the pepperoni stuck to the paper. Yeah. <laughs> that would you feel it up? <laughs> that's a good one. Anyway, that's it for mail. I got to clear off these crumbs. Those crumbs? Yeah, from when you yeeted a cookie across the table. I didn't even try to do that. What the hell? Yo, you ever use a Chromebook at all? No. They're fucking bad, kind of. Yeah, I remember they were like all the rage five years ago, and then it's like, wait, why are we spending a couple hundred bucks when we all can just search things on our phones? Yeah, the thing is, they're actually pretty cool quality for what they are, but it's like, I can't, it, unless you're getting a shitload of them for like a school program, it's like, why the fuck am I going to get a Chromebook? Yeah. You know? Stupid. So if you have a Chromebook, maybe break it? If you're listening to us on a Chromebook right now, don't even at me, all right? Come <laughs> on, don't fuck with me here. All right, you got more prank. Do you have some preguntas too, or are they just disagreements? I got some preguntas here. Okay, not that I don't want to do disagreements. I just want to get a healthy mix in. All right, I got a, a little question Your here. Multi-grains and vitamins of preguntas. <laughs> Here's a big fat wheat thin worth of, uh, of a pregunta for you. At Jacob o 81 er says, hey, when you're in the shower and scrubbing, scrubbing your ass. <laughs> I can't, because it formatted the line down. I can't tell if he really meant like you're scrubbing it or if he just doubled We're up. We're talking about scrubbing, scrubbing. Scrub, bro, is it scrubbing? Or? When you're in the shower and scrubbing, scrubbing your ass, are you scared of touching your asshole or do you go all in? In the shower, by the way. <laughs> oh, Listen, if you're scared of that, you're not clean. I'll just say it. Don't, yeah. get, don't get in there. Yeah. But like, I don't know if you if you treat it real weird like of that all the whole cleaning process you're probably not getting a good clean down. Also it's like I wash my asshole every shower. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Is like specifically. Yeah, that's you you got to you don't get in there, but you get out there. Yeah. <laughs> How do you wash your asshole? How do I wash it? Yeah. Do you get a bar of soap? Because that's what I do. Uh, I, I'm a person that went on, especially with that, into uh, into washcloth territory. Really? Yeah. You got an ass washcloth? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you use that for the rest of your body, no. too? Good. See? I actually mainly use body wash and my hands for the rest of my body. That's OG. Here's- but I don't want to put my hands in my ass. <laughs> that's okay. What I do is, in the shower, I, got, I always like the Blue Irish Spring Soap. So I always have a bar of soap, and I soap Soap up my body for that, clean off the soap, and then I use the bar of soap to specifically go right into my ass cheeks and stuff. And then I wash it again, and then for the face and hair, I'd use like some body wash stuff, and then I'd put shampoo on. So not the same bar. Good. Not the same bar. Okay, good. Because if there is... Yeah. Yeah, it'd be grody. Also, it's not the best, but I, since I have facial hair, I'll just like get some of my shampoo and just do it there, too. That's I'm good sure idea. there's better solutions, but I also don't want like another bottle in the shower so i feel like it's fine it's hair you know what i'm realizing i don't think i've ever washed my mustache that's really gross <laughs> this, this is why we marked the Are you tell me you've never once like specifically washed it i mean i wash my face but I don't. right but like let's say you eat like a burrito you're not washing your mustache after. oh i mean i rinse it after that but like but you're not using any type of soap or shampoo you're just splashing water on it yeah but i'm also not like just you know, ass pl- or face plowing I know, a burrito. But still, still your, your mouth right there. So yeah, like, I, I go in and I like I rinse it off and stuff. You gotta use soap, dude. That's when hair. you go to the bathroom to do that? Yeah. So if you eat something messy, you go to the bathroom with like a soap and wash your mustache yeah. right afterwards? Yeah. I don't have, I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the shower, I'll do a general face wash, but I never concentrate on this little part right here. You got to do it, man. Well, no one's kissing this guy, so. <laughs> oh, except for Sabrina. Oops. Except for your girlfriend. <laughs> Darn it. I'll tell her to lay off. <laughs> Cheat kisses only to, for the rest of 2020. Um, no, I'd, uh, do you do the same routine every time when you're in the shower? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Except after I, what the day... When I wrote, like, because I have to take two showers a day because I run later, too. Mm-hmm. You know that. Um, which is not good for my hair, I know. Fuck you guys. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't wash my feet in the initial first morning shower mm-hmm. because I had just done it that night after the run. And it's just extra soap that's wasted because I know I'm going to run and my feet are going to get gross a little bit later. Okay. But it's like there's never 12 hours where my feet aren't washed. It's just for the initial first shower. I just don't. Do you just prefer running in the afternoon, evening, period? Yeah, yeah for the most okay. part. Because, so, like, 
Why don't you just wake up in the morning and wear like a ball cap or something until you have to run it? Like, because running in the morning, su- wait, not shower and yeah, go out morning. of the house. Yeah, because I don't leave the house without showering. That's gross to me. Not to me, baby. <laughs> I don't like smelling in public. Well, you don't smell because I always shower pretty much every night. So I'm going to the new day with like eight hours since the shower. But there's a morning. There's your body changes throughout the night when you're sleeping there. Yeah, you so- can sweat in the middle of the night. You your breath gets gross. These are all things that happen to your body at night. Well, I mean, I, I in the morning I do wa- I brush my teeth and I use mouthwash. Right, but like let's say you had a sweaty night's sleep. Are you yeah. just going out on the town? I'm, I don't have a sweaty night's sleep. Never, you never sweat in your sleep at all. Pretty rarely. That's I uh, don't believe you. What I do every morning though is I every night after my shower I go to bed and I and I put a little bit of my I have a spray on antiperspirant so I do spray on antiperspirant and I go to bed. Boom! I wake up. I brush my teeth and I put in some mouthwash. I change my shirt and put on deodorant. When's the latest you've, like, how much have you done without showering? And then, like, hey, do you shower, like, late at night? Um, usually I shower, uh, if I have to, like, get in front of a video, sometimes I'll shower. <laughs> it depends, you know, if I can wear a ball cap or I don't think I've done a single commentary video with uh, having showered, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, like, do I smell? You can tell me right now on the podcast. I don't, I wouldn't like, you don't smell enough where a normal friends would, but I'm yeah. never up in there. Okay. So yeah, that's no, all I, I need. Then. That's all I need. Cause I, cause I wake up in the morning, I go out and I do my shit. Cause the worst thing ever is when you, when you shower and then you step out and you immediately got that shower sweat. Stuff. Yeah. I hate the shower sweat. So, so much. I never get that ever in the daytime. Mm. Cause even if it's a little hot and you, you get a little sweaty, it's like, it's not that first like prickly feel of, yeah, Oh yeah. fuck, fuck, fuck. So I'm clean enough to make it through the early afternoon and then I shower late afternoon or the evening I again. gotcha boom bitch all right at all right that we already did that so wash your asshole anyway <laughs> uh at jenks 01 says when making pb and j i put pb on both pieces of bread and then what? j in the middle my what? F- my friend thinks that pb should just go on one piece and j goes on the other piece what? that's that's how you do it what are you doing with the knives wait what do you mean like they're using a knife to put peanut butter on both sides yeah so then are they th- then washing it off, right, to get the jelly? Because you don't want to get peanut butter in your jelly. Correct. But then they're putting it on peanut butter. So, like, if you double up for jelly, you got peanut butter on your knife. So, like, there's no way you're not mixing peanut butter into your jelly. Yeah. Because what I always do... You just one side, one side. I always start with the PB. Yeah. Always. Always. You get the knife, you do a PB, 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 PB. And then on either the crust edge of the bread or the PB one, but more likely on the blank bread, I fully get the knife fully un uh, I just use a paper towel usually. Not me, baby. No, Swipe nothing it. goes to waste. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Right between the cheeks, I, I get it all, all cleaned <laughs> off there. And then I go in with the jelly. Boom. Smash it to yeah, together. Yeah, putting... Pe- also, there's way too much peanut butter. Have you seen that meme image of like the... It's the dude holding like a bitten peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's like... 80% thick peanut butter <laughs> no. and like a little bit of jelly. What do I even search? I don't even Too know. Too much peanut butter on... <laughs> wait, meme. I'll just do the meme. Uh, I can try and find it, but it's from a while God ago. damn it. I want to find this shit. Here, wait. I think I know how I might be able to find it. You can find another question and I'll, also, I'll pull it up. Also, dude, people were asking like favorite memes of the last decade. One of mine, honestly, is the peanut butter baby. I fucking uh, yeah, love that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, what I saw that doing? edit they made of you and Sven. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Where the fuck? Okay, I know I have sent this. In. Yep, got it already. You got it? <laughs> wait, wait, I just found it too. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> I'll screenshot it some oh. later. We can put it up. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> it looks so bad, dude. The thing is, that probably tastes really good though still. Yeah. Wait, also, is the air still off? Is the air off? From before. Oh, I don't know. Let me check. Okay. Eddie Vamp. Um, all right. So listen, guys. If you want to make a good PB&J, what you want to do is not do what this person said with the question. Um, what's up? It was. It was up to 74. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry. That was my fault, boys. Sorry. It's you all got right. hot at the listening. <laughs> um, you know what else you could get out on? What's up? A bike. Oh. You're still going to that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just really thought it would work. I keep trying it. It's not working. thing is, it works every time. I just feel jealous I didn't think of it. So <laughs> that's the only problem. All right, just with another cue. Boom. What do we got right here, baby? Um, at Fat Girl Aesthetic says, hey, dear Gus and Eddie, how do I get a boy's attention? I haven't dated in four years. And I'm a little rusty. You don't even have to try. Is I'm it a boy right just in, well, do you know the boy? 
Uh, is it? I don't look at them. That's yeah, it. <laughs> that's all, pretty much all you got to do. We've said it before, especially I feel like, especially if you're a girl and you just go up to a guy and just be like, "Hey, I think you're really cool." Do you win every time. Yeah, because even if even if they're not into you, the fact that a girl came up and said that will boost their self esteem for a lifetime. They're not. They're never gonna be like weird, dude. I told and, you before. They will say that though. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I told you before. I was in. I just went into high school, and there was a girl that I that wasn't even on my radar. I wasn't thinking like, oh, she seems cool. And and I just heard like one of her friends came up to me. And was like, hey, she really likes you. And I was like, oh. And then I dated her for four years. There you go. Boom. It's fun to hear Boom. people like you. Yeah. Anyway, just um, believe in yourself, girl. Yeah. Also, yeah. It just. You really just got to put yourself out there because for, yeah, well, for girls, it's like not saying it's not hard because like with dating stuff, like getting attention, because also the worry you have is that um, a guy is the one that you have to attract the attention on and we're the worst things in the world. Yeah. And if you're like, well, how do you say that about men, Eddie? Guys, <laughs> come on. <laughs> like, really? Just take a second. Stare at yourself in the mirror. Think about your daily thoughts and actions. It's like. Come on, come guys. on. <laughs> and so it's like you got to deal with that. But it, in the attention getting part, you're golden. You're good. Uh, give him a look, and he'll probably date you. Give him one of these. Give him a sitcom opening. <laughs> That's our podcast opening, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, baby. All right. At J Snow ninety six says my friend frequently eats in bed, and I am completely grossed out by it. Is eating in bed acceptable? N- here's okay. I will say. If you ha- live on your own or like have your own room in your own bed, you can decide occasionally if it's all right. Like I popped the three musketeers into my mouth, a fun size one, when I was laying in bed yesterday. That's fine. I but think. did I like set the wrapper down in bed? No. No. Did I open it over my bed? Absolutely not. It was open over the side, put it in my mouth, and then chew on the bed. Yep. Anything that could possibly have crumbs should never be hovering over your bed space in any way. I fully agree. Even if it's 20 feet up. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, what the fuck was it? It was a Melanian Kroll joke when they were doing the Independent Spirit Awards. Uh-huh. Where they were saying like Shia LaBeouf um, was the recipient of like the award for most likely to have crumbs in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think you should be eating... Anything that is no one bite thing uh-huh. in your bed. I agree. I just don't like, don't fuck with the mess shit. You don't want bugs and little rodents in your bed. Yeah. But also if you're both cool with crumbs in your bed, one, you're disgusting, but then eat in your bed. Do yeah. whatever you want. Do it. Just follow your heart, guy. Eat all a right? Panzerati in your bed. What's that? Oh yeah. Panzerati or Maserati. Oh, right. That's a, wait, is that from this podcast or is that from the old one? No, that's, you told me that. It was Tony's joke before. Yeah. It was, <laughs> Tony would give people the option. He would go, Hey, I have this hypothetical for you. A Panzerati, which is like a Calzone <laughs> or a Maserati. <laughs> and then he, if you said a Maserati, because you would want a car, he would say, no, a Maserati doesn't have cheese, so why would you <laughs> choose that over a Panzerati? Um, That's such then, a good yeah, dumb joke. We always kept coming up. It was on the road trip. We kept coming up with more dumb rhymes where it was like macaroni or a guy named Tony. <laughs> <laughs> That's a banger. All right, at Raya Stricter says, my girlfriend believes that she can have any food for breakfast and that the very term breakfast food is absurd. I'm not ex- actively against her with this, but would love the good old Gus and Eddie input. I kind of agree. It's a tiered question. You can really you can really have whatever the fuck you want. There are things you should avoid. Any greasy foods that are like super like a leftover pizza you put in the microwave should not be eaten at 9 a.m. But I would agree that that was probably one of the more common unconventional breakfast foods because right. it's like we have pizza left over. I'm yeah. eating this shit for breakfast. And you can just, yeah, that's the, once you are an adult, you can eat whatever the fuck you want whenever you want. I agree with that, but also the term breakfast food, I feel like it's... Oh, there's absolutely breakfast food. Yeah. Where, what, who just decided all the things that were breakfast foods? I don't know. And when did they become tradition? And yeah. is it all from the same part of the world? Like, is this, are we pulling like European customs or Scandinavian I think customs? So, because like, who, nobody was eating oatmeal at 10 p.m. and was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. What are the, what are the <laughs> big five? To, um, uh, well, eggs is Egg. the number one. I think eggs, uh, cereal. Cereal. Um, 
Well, so are we including like individual? Because then, like, I guess bacon or there's a certain amount of meats that are. Yeah. But it's prepared. So it's like sausage and bacon are. Let's put those up. Yeah. Sausage and bacon. Okay. Egg, cereal, then, sausage, bacon. Then we got the um the like wheat type like waffle and pancakes family. You got your breakfast carbs. That's toast included. Yeah, French toast too. Yeah. Um, toast. So it's yeah, <laughs> but French. So <laughs> but French. So. For our viewers at home, to clarify, <laughs> <laughs> explain to the viewers what French toast is. Um, and then what would be the last like main one? The thing fruit. is, fruit. Oh, but fruit could go anywhere in the day. That's though. true. It's not a breakfast food. And the thing is, like, do you lump in like how how blanket statement is cereal? Because I think that there's a big distinction between oatmeal and malto meal, and then just like cold cereal. Even though they're both cereals, they're pretty much yeah the same. So I would add oatmeal as well. Okay, as the extra one, hot cereals. Yeah. Okay, so there's a the big five: hot cereal, cold cereal, arguably the same. So maybe there's only four: eggs, bacon sausage, and, and the then toast carbs. Shit, breakfast yeah. carb stuff. That's it. And That's if you it. eat anything else die that's it orange juice is also a breakfast drink yeah there's a lot of breakfast drinks we could go through but, but that's the <laughs> biggest boy one orange uh, juice and coffee even yeah. though coffee's all day kind of yeah, yeah i wish i could drink coffee again i can't fucking do it did you have you tried it post tour at all yeah dude i tried it like a week ago and i i just had a single iced coffee in the morning felt like i was gonna have a fucking heart attack damn awful don't know why i'm not even performing right now that's uh, i think i mean i told you Melanie said the same thing so it's like yeah i guess it's just real normal with stand-up stuff guess i'll die Here's a big boy one just for uh, just for you, Eddie. Okay. At Zor9000 says, this is an argument for the boys. Is Home Alone a Christmas movie? Absolutely. What the fuck? Listen. Okay, go ahead. That was it. That was it. pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. What? Yeah, I fully agree. I would argue that Home Alone is one of the most Christmas movies to ever be made. The house is, the wallpaper in the house and the floors are Christmas colors. What? The house is decorated to be Christmas. Yes. Did you, did we watch Home Alone at the Cabin? When I went. No. I haven't seen Home Alone in probably over 12 years. Really? Yeah. I would offer to watch it with you during this next thing, but uh, I have already plans to watch it with my mom and Tony on Saturday. Wow. Really, really great to know where your loyalties <laughs> lie here. Uh, <laughs> um, crazy. Home Alone 1 especially is like a good movie. That's what I heard. And I remember I saw it once when I was way younger, and I was just like, damn, that was a solid movie. Yep. It is great. Um, I love it. Something about... Well, I think, too, it's something about especially Home Alone 1 because it's not in – it's in the suburbs of Chicago but nowhere near me. It's it's definitely more north than, like, northwest. Yeah. Um, I still haven't gone to it, but it's, like, a 30-minute drive from, like, my house. The Home Alone house? Yeah. Um, and that's a radius. So or my childhood house, I mean. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so, like, you can go to it, uh, and people do all the time, but I don't want to, like, bother the yeah. owners. But, like – Everybody goes to it. So I'm probably going to do that this year. But yeah, like, so it's, that is especially like Home Alone was definitely way before us. You know, McCulkey, McCulkey, <laughs> McCulkey Culkin, Macaulay Culkin is well older than us. But like, it still was like my childhood pretty much just years before in the same area. Uh-huh. And then it's like Christmas shit. Dude. But they're way too wealthy. So there was like the ideal one. <laughs> there you, know? you go. Hey, open call right now. Macaulay Culkin, come on our podcast. I would love that. And I wouldn't even ask him Home Alone questions because I don't want to be weird. Yeah. I would just like him to have him on. We'll ask you about your art stuff. I know you spent a lot of time abroad. Like He's got a podcast, I think. Bunny ears. We'll go on bunny ears. Tradesies. Well, Tradesies. Macaulay, Tradesies. Macaulay Culkin. Please? Everybody harass Macaulay. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, be nice to him. I'm but, joking. But tell him we said this nicely. Here, shake our hand, Macaulay. Do you want? To- yeah. Oh, wait. here. Let's look in your camera. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be Macaulay. Here, hold up. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Wait. I'm on the wrong camera. Oh wait. That's right. You, Cause that doesn't show you. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is a visual only bit. Fuck you, audio listeners. Okay, hey, Macaulay Culkin, would you like to come on our podcast and we will go on yours? Deal? Wow, you have such strong, calloused hands. Thanks for doing this deal with us. Whoa! Dude. Macaulay Culkin, everybody. Wow. I, <laughs> let's give it Holy up for the man. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Big of him to do that. Wow. Big of him to do that. Kevin McAllister himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got to say about the matter, so... <laughs> But who's asking if Home Alone is a Christmas movie? Like some fucking loser. I it's got know. a Christmas soundtrack. It's during Christmas. It's like it's a, it's not like the Die Hard argument. Yeah, you're not a loser. You just didn't know. I don't know either. Okay. Yeah, but 
or a loot or something. <laughs> That's just from me, I guess. <laughs> That's from you? Yeah. Well, maybe take one of those. Take one of them? Yep. Okay. What you got going on down there? You're just doing... Okay. What? Did you Reach for the stars. Let's reach for the sky. Reach for the sky. There's a sneak in my boot. <laughs> in your boot. <laughs> <laughs>